This video is going to go over all of the different types of starships in Star Wars. In order for a ship to be considered a starship, it has to be able to operate and travel in space. Most starships were equipped with a hyperdrive in order to enter hyperspace. First are the yachts. These ships were primarily used for recreational purposes and were mostly owned by wealthy individuals like politicians. They were very fast ships that tended to be no bigger than light freighters. Second are the starfighters. These small ships were designed for space combat and were typically piloted by one or two pilots. They were used for various roles, including harassing and weakening warships. Squadrons of starfighters were able to bring down entire capital ships by targeting weak points. There was a variant called droid starfighters, which didn't require organic pilots, and instead used integrated droid brains to pilot the ships. Third are the bombers also known as Star Bombers. They were starfighters that were specifically designed and equipped with weapons to effectively attack well-armored targets like capital warships. They were usually slower and more armored than regular starships. Fourth are the Scout Vessels, also known as Scout Starships. They were used for various reasons, including commercial and scientific exploration, as well as for military reconnaissance. They were equipped with increased sensor ranges and were designed for very long trips. Fifth are the transports. They carried either cargo or passengers and were used for both commercial and military uses. Sixth are the freighters, also known as cargo ships. Unlike transports, freighters were designed to only transport cargo. They were popular among smugglers who used them to illegally transport goods. Seventh are the system patrol crafts, also known as the patrol vessels. They were combat ships designed to operate within a single star system. Because of this, they were usually not equipped with hyperdrives. They were very fast and maneuverable, and were primarily used to catch fleeing smugglers. Eighth are the shuttles. They were used to only transport personnel, usually troops during military operations. There were also landing crafts, which served basically the same purpose as shuttles, but were also capable of transporting small vehicles and supplies along with troops. Ninth are the gunships. These ships were heavily armed and armored, and were designed to break through heavily guarded enemy lines. They were used for various reasons, including transporting troops and vehicles, acting as air support during battles, and escorting other ships. The next six starship types are considered to be warships. They were large and heavily armored ships that were equipped with weapon systems and shields. Due to their massive sizes, many of them were considered to be capital ships, which were ships that had a length greater than 100 meters, or 328 feet. These following ships are classed due to their lengths. However, there are a few exceptions to this rule, with some ships being moved down or up a classification depending on their intended role and armament. First are the corvettes. They were on the smaller end of the warship class, having a length of 100 to 200 meters. They tended to be fast and lightly armored when compared to other warship classes. They were used for various roles, including warning allied fleets of advancing enemy ships. Second are the frigates. These ships had a length of 200 to 400 meters. They were mostly used in support roles, defending larger ships during battle. Third are the cruisers. These ships had a length of 400 to 600 meters. They were designed primarily for space combat. Fourth are the heavy cruisers. These ships had a length of 600 to 1,000 meters. They were used for orbital bombardment, planetary occupation, and ship combat. Assault ships also fell under this class in the length range. Assault ships were mainly used to transport troops and vehicles onto planets. Fifth are the Star Destroyers. These ships had a length of 1,000 to 2,000 meters. These ships were first officially used by the Galactic Republic and following governments, including the Galactic Empire and the New Republic. Star Destroyers were heavily armored warships that were capable of destroying entire star systems through orbital bombardment. They were also very effective in ship-to-ship -ship combat. Sixth are the Battle Cruisers. These ships had a length of 2,000 to 5,000 meters. These ships were primarily designed to destroy other capital ships, making them very valuable in fleets. Last are the Dreadnoughts. These ships had a length of over 5,000 meters. They usually served as flagships, commanding the other ships within their fleets. They were extremely powerful ships, with some even being equipped with super lasers that were capable of destroying entire ships with a single shot. 
The last three for this video are unique enough to not fall under the last two sublists. First are the space stations. They were artificial structures built in space for various reasons, including medical and research purposes. Second are the battle stations. They were basically space stations armed for combat. The most famous example of battle stations were the two Death Stars, which were capable of destroying entire planets with their super lasers. Third are the droid control ships. They were equipped with an array of transmitters and broadcasting equipment, which allowed them to control large droid forces on planetary surfaces. In addition, they acted as transports for the droids, being able to carry over 100,000 of them. They were also heavily armed and armored. Last are the world ships, also known as Koros Strona for the Yuzon Vong. These ships had a length of over 100,000 meters, making them one of the biggest ships in the galaxy. They were organic ships that housed entire communities of the Yuzon Vong. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.